Good morning. Buenos dias. Today we have a meeting and we are meeting about just kidding party and ask the feels. Ask the feels. But um, Michael reminded me that uh, I was supposed to write a letter for all these bonus checks. <gasps> so at the end of the year, we like Get to uh, we like to give holiday out holiday bonuses. We like to give out holiday bonuses to our staff members because of all the hard work that they've done. Mm -hmm. And I forgot to write the letter that goes into these bonus checks, but I just finished writing them. Would you guys like me to read it to you? Um, your call. Oh, I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to them. Oh, my bad. And they said yes. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you saw me. So <laughs> I, mean, they, I thought you were looking at me. So they said yes, and this is what I wrote. Howdy, double dick dildo time. Finally, 2015 is coming to an end. We swore as humble lords and promiscuous ladies to the heavens above us and the earth below us that we will maketh this year the year of the hustle, and hustle we did maketh. We changeth directions with JK Films and started makingeth content to better connect with our fans. We increased the JK News bowel movements and now shit out more content than ever. Every Wednesday is devoted to us hating each other while we playeth games on JK Party. We've learned more about each other sexually than we ever have before on Ask the Fields. And lastly, JK Gamer has been awakened from its dormant slumber. We have done so much, but this is the only, this is only the beginning as we embark on the journey of Barladum. As we mentioned before, Joe and I will be splitting up to take on separate, more specialized tasks. Joe will be the Bishop of Business, and I will be the Cardinal of Cinema. We will need the efforts more than ever as we tackle 2016, the year of the Killet. 2016 will be the year we cement our legacy, as our forefathers Jackie Chan and Bobby Lee did. Included in this parcel is a bonus check, a token of appreciation of all your hard work to feed your wives, husbands, and whores with. Keep up the good work, JK family, and may 2016 grant us a plentiful harvest. Your humble squire, Sir Bartholomew Mixlot. So this is going to be going in every one of these checks for the JK Familia. We got David, we got Tommy, we got all kinds of people, Tiff, Julia, everybody in there. Everyone worked so hard this year. And um, we, me and Joe are so happy to be able to give everyone a bonus check so that they can feed their whores with. Oh my God. What? <laughs> I tried not to listen to it because I wanted it to be surprised, but it sounds really funny. <laughs> I can't wait till you read it. Because you have to read it in that voice. If you don't read it in that voice, it doesn't come off the right way. But in the beginning, it's it says, We swore as humble lords and promiscuous ladies. <laughs> why do we got to be humble lords and why do the ladies have to be promiscuous? <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> we all know what you guys are up to anyways. But yeah, so if, as soon as you read the first line, you should know which tone to read it in. Thank you. Now I have the voice to accompany the words. I think Joe's still working on his. It is early in the morning. So as soon as we walk in, Michael's like, did you fucking write the letters? And we're like, no, we didn't. We've been fucking up. But that's how we have Michael here to remind us to stay on track. Joe's writing it right now. Oh, he's writing a couple paragraphs, I can see. I will leave him be as he uses his brain to come up with the most articulate words of the 14th century. Hey, Michael, you gonna buy a car? I wanna get a new car since my car is kind of falling apart. I repaired the transmission like uh, back in February and now it feels like it's breaking again. Breaking. What kind of car are you gonna get? I'm not sure yet, but I want to get a Mazda, like a Mazda what? 3. You like the Mazda 3? I do like the Mazda 3. Are you gonna lease it? Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna lease it or not. Like, what do you think I should do? You get um, more of a tax advantage if you lease than if you buy. I feel like I want to just drive it more than three years though because it's kind of a hassle to, you know, then have to shop again and have to go negotiate again and then I feel like. It maybe just worth but it's three years later. 
three years later. So if you drive it though, mm -hmm. it's a uh, um, if you buy it, you only get only fifty percent of it is tax deductible. Oh, if really? you lease it, a hundred percent of it is tax deductible. Is there a limit or no? What do you mean? Like, can you? Uh, is there a limit to like do you have to write it off over five years or? No, the lease is like every month. The whole monthly lease is uh, oh, okay. tax I see, deductible. I see, I see. Yeah. Mm. That's why there's so many like for like Beamers and Mercedes. There's so many uh, tax incentives and lease incentives for business owners, and that's why like if you look at Toyota leases, they're pretty much the same thing as Beamer. Uh -huh. But it's because Beamer they're trying to take advantage of that entrepreneur business owner tax demographic. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I have to look into that. I need to do my research so before you buy. You need, you always need to do your research first. Yeah, you could lease a Beamer for like four hundred bucks these days. 400 bucks. I only want to spend like 250, I think. 250? Oh, you probably can't lease a Beamer then. I don't think I can lease a Beamer. Yeah, I, I was looking at those payments and then um, I think I want to stay under 20 if possible. 20 what? 20K. Oh, for the price of the whole the vehicle? Whole price, yeah, but then I guess it would, I mean, that would be around like uh, 250 maybe per month. You can lease a Kia Optima for 80 bucks a month. Really? Yeah, I saw it on the side <laughs> of the road and I told Nadim, I was like, Nadim, stop fucking. <laughs> Ubering around like a fucking moron not that there's anything wrong with uber But he would uber to like the grocery store and uber back and spend like Ten dollars when I was gonna go to the same grocery store But he just couldn't line up his schedule to leave with me. He just shows up five minutes later Some people here are a little bit more richer than other people. Yeah, that's what I was like, dude You're not rich and the dean's not acting stupid. So I saw I, I, I showed him what I saw and it was a uh, $80 a month lease for Kia Optima and it was only like 2,000 down. Oh, that's it? So like if you're looking for like the most Chinese deal possible, <laughs> I don't know if you could beat that. That's pretty deep. That's pretty I don't know deal. if I want to drive a Kia Optima though. Why? They're trying to... Hyundai Sonata. I need it. I think you need to go a test driver first to see like, oh, okay, so this is what I'm getting for this amount of money. They're, they're trying to they boost do. their, they're trying to boost their quality. Uh, Kia? Yeah. Aren't th those things really uh, kind of crappy or? Yeah. Kia Optima's pretty nice though. Really? Have you seen they them? Yeah. They nice, but they are. They're all trying still. Because I know like a couple years ago, Hyundai was kind of crappy, but then I feel like Casey said that he test drove one of those and it feels pretty good. See, that's what I don't get, Michael. If you're worrying about quality, you can't be worrying about price. Well, you can, you can still get a pretty good, decent car, you know, for uh... No, either you spend $80 a month or you spend $1,000 a month and you get a <laughs> fucking Lambo or something. What do you want? Do you want, do you want quality? <laughs> You can't get both. You can get both if you spend in the time that to go and look and understand what you're buying. You're a Chinese you can only man. Have three, you, can, you can there's three what like time, quality, and uh, I don't think money, you can even right? get a Corolla for two hundred bucks a month. Two fifty. I said two fifty. Oh. You're you're Chinese, and I mean that in the worst way possible. <laughs> Mazda. Yeah, that's why you want Mazda. No, I thought it looked really cool actually. Then get Just the damn Mazda. Mazda. Get the damn Mazda. I will get the damn Mazda. <laughs> the SUV, it, it was rated the safest SUV of 2014 or something like that. It has like the best ratings for like um, collision and all that. So mm. that's why she got that one. I only have, I'm, I feel like I'm so basic. I only have three things that I want. I want a, uh, a sunroof. <laughs> I want that, uh, the camera that sees in the back. Oh, I love those two. Those two are, are necessities. Those are a necessity. And then I don't couldn't really care less about power. What about Bluetooth so you can have your GPS hooked up to your phone. Oh, I, I, I can use my cable, I can use the oh. iPhone cable. So as long as there's a USB port so I can charge it and do the GPS at the same time, then I'm good. Yeah. So maybe the key Optima is for me after all. Yeah, because <laughs> I was thinking like if, if you're worried about getting the best bang for the buck, I was like, dude, $80 a month, that's pretty freaking cheap for a pretty Hell good yeah. car. That's pretty good. Me, 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 and Deep can have to be driving the same car. Is that a lease price? Or yeah, it's a lease price. price yeah. $80 a month, you can't beat that. Kia or Hyundai. I would lease it. Yeah, I you... wouldn't keep it because I don't know the reliability on those. So we're trying to find some pho, and then we come into this weird ass plaza. It says pho next generation. They say they're open, but the doors are locked. But every single sign is Chinese, like we're in China. And the whole time that me and Joe have lived in Monterey Park, we never even stepped foot in this plaza before. This is a fucking weird ass place. And there's this other store over here. It's called Spicy Girls. And we were gonna eat there, but we found out it's all purses. Where the hell did we end up?
think Bart, I really like your car color. Yeah, Joe's car looks really good in white, but you were saying that you fucking hate the color white on cars and you want to destroy I everyone. I said that. <laughs> You're tripping. Jess hates white on cars too. She says white Not SUVs, too. It's not too. Because I don't SUVs hate it. SUVs look like, uh, she's like, they look like white rich mom cars. You what know what? Gio told me yeah. what Gio told me is before I wanted a white truck yeah. and she was like ew that looks like construction no the truck itself not the color no you said white trucks look no. like construction I never said but, white I said but, all trucks I don't like all trucks because it looks like your construction but worker. to your credit I was like you know what that does kind of make sense because every construction truck like F-150 I see actually, if you can. it's always white yeah. But Joe's so what tell what is what was Jess saying about the white cars? She, she says that white cars or white oh SUVs, white uh they look like rich white mom cars. Oh sweet things. I can see that. Are they gonna stop for you? I think same goes for black too. Nope. They don't Who's stop honking? For you. This guy that clearly sees what I'm trying to hey, do. Hey, you don't have to honk, it's buddy. Car. No, they stop for they us. Stop oh, for okay, me. you're a good guy, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they honk. They probably honk. Honked. They probably honk because they found out how much you hate white cars. Look at all these white cars around here. See, you Asian fucking hate love them. White cars. You hate uh, all of them. No, I actually don't hate them at all. You Make hate a left white cars. Stop sign. Okay. I think it's here, right? Is, Is it here? Uh, I feel like it's here. I'm not sure. It's, oh, I know where it is now. It, it, I'm not sure. I can't. Yeah, tell yeah, yeah. It's a weird. Road. Am I right or am I wrong? I'm not too sure, but because I remember, I remember when you said you wanted a six series, I was like, ooh, you should get it in white. I was like, you should get it in white, and you're like, I fucking hate white people. <laughs> Do it in uh, royal blue. The M4 yeah. and royal blue look pretty. That's sick. exactly the color I want. Yeah, it looked pretty good. The BMW yeah. one, the their royal blue is nice. Park somewhere around here. So for lunchtime, we're gonna get Taiwanese hot pot at boiling point. And this one says, how special hot soup, something something tou tou guo. Right here it says, han feng da jiang guo, which means Korean bean paste hot soup. I'm probably gonna get, there's a tomato one I like but I don't see it. Is it the Taiwanese spicy? No. <laughs> I like that they have flaming spicy only. Oh shit. Only yeah. to burn your butthole. Beef hot soup. Shang something nyo ro guo. Shang la. Shang la. Is that what it says? Shang la nyo ro guo. What do you speak? Mandarin? I speak yeah, Mandarin. And Cantonese or no? I speak no Cantonese. Just Mandarin? I only know like one word in Cantonese and it's do it. What do you say if someone says, <laughs> what do you say if someone comes up to you and says, Gan ni ma? I say thank you very much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when you see the waitress, you should say, Gan ni ma. <laughs> That's pretty good actually. <laughs> What's crazy is that I really really like stinky tofu but even I'm scared to order the house special tofu soup. It's pretty spicy dude. Because this thing has the fermented tofu which is the stinky tofu the right there. Hot soup is so spicy. But stinky tofu fried is way different than a stinky tofu soup. I don't know if I can handle stinky tofu in a soup. So even I'm scared to get that. What I'm probably gonna get is the beef hot soup. And it has uh, Napa vermicelli sliced Angus beef, enoki mushroom, tomato, firm tofu, and a bunch of other stuff that sounds like it would taste pretty good. And it has peanuts, so you know elephants like this too. Wait, do they, do they have? Stinky tofu here? Yeah, it's the first one. Oh, oh no, no, the actual. Oh. Hey, are you down for some tofu? I hate, I hate stinky tofu so much. Really? Damn yeah, it. Yeah, Taiwanese. <laughs> no one's gonna share it with me? Do you no. wanna eat tofu with me? Level tea, sorry. Oh, that's pretty good. You're really good at this. <laughs> What did you order, Ma Bear? Uh, medium beef. Uh, hot pot. And it comes with beef, tofu, um, fish cake, 
and it comes with vermicelli noodle, but I'm not the biggest fan of it in this, so I switched it out with um, some ramen. Oh, I got the same thing. The beef something. Look at the steam, it's cooking in here. And they got this really yummy garlic soy sauce. That's delicious. It's like their own custom sauce. And uh, you take the food out of here, and then you dip it in here, and you eat it, and you eat some rice. And their teas are hella bomb, too. Oh, so good. I think my favorite thing about Taiwan and Taiwanese cuisine is their teas. One thing that they do really well is, um, so they get high quality teas, number one. Then they keep it hot so it stays aromatic the whole time. Oh, that's Michael's. Very so they keep it uh, hot and aromatic the whole time. And then when you order, then they get a martini shaker full of ice cubes. And then they pour the hot tea in there and then they shake it up. So now the tea has this foam. Like you can tell when a tea has been shaken that it has like this foam up here. And a lot of, uh, it's even hers, it's uh, green milk tea. A lot of the American style places, they don't shake their teas, so the tea just ends up melting the ice and it gets watered down. And um, that hand shaking taste, you can't duplicate it. And it tastes so bomb, it tastes frothy. And the sugar and the, the high quality tea of it being stored hot and not being stored cold is what makes it really good. A lot of places, they're lazy. They just make a bunch of tea and throw it in the fridge and keep it cold, but it reduces the aroma. And tea is all about that aroma. Oh, what did you get, Joe? Lamb. 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 Is this raw yolk right here? I actually don't like to let that boil. I like to mix that with my rice. Oh, that looks delicious. Joe, get ready to find vermicelli at the bottom. What? They didn't listen. This no, Asian. When you go to Asian place, you expect them to not. We got more. You expect them to not get your order right. It's okay. Yeah, I can. I'm I get it. Live. Guess what came in the mail last night? What? So, um, on an episode of JK News, we had Vlogilates creator Cassie Ho um, host it with us, and she told us about this service that it's called 23andMe, and basically, um, what it does is. You get this package, you give a sample, a, I think it's, I don't, I'm not sure how they get the sample, but I think it's Just get to the point. Hold on, I'm explaining it for Michael because he's very I want to see you open the box as well. <laughs> I don't care about what it is, just open the box. Get to oh, the damn shit. point. Wasting everyone's time. Damn, all right, well, fucking who cares? Get to the damn point, woman. So this is the box, do you know what's in here? We, we you haven't explained it, yeah. That's what you're gonna tell me, but you can open the, you can open the UPS thing first know, and I then wanted, tell me what that is. But I, Oh, I have tell a us. Process. Tell us. Okay, so That's basically, all we tell her. To, tell her to hurry the um, hell up. You Take, waste give, so much I think, time. A, a, sample, a spit sample, and then it tells you what your genetic makeup is. That's it. Is that pretty sick? I want to do that. So Bart and I got one each. I do that. So we're going to see, you know, what percentage of us is, you know, Mexican. yeah, Mexican, <laughs> black, Asian, Caucasian. So this is for me, this is for Bart. It's pretty cool. So we're gonna do this, and how long does it take? When do we get our results? I have no idea, because I haven't opened the package at all. No, it, doesn't it take like two weeks or something? I have no idea. Oh. I, I don't know where you heard that. Maybe I wasn't there. Oh, fine. But yeah. I'm pretty excited, because I want to see what I am. Me I too. might be part, like, I don't know, Arabian or something. Once you know, once you find out what you are, though, what do you do with that information? Or what are you gonna do with that information? I'm just gonna keep it to myself, and now I know. <laughs> okay. Nah, well. Yeah. Unless it's a huge part of me, that I'm gonna start bragging that I'm that. Are you gonna be one of those people that's like, well, actually, I'm 40% Arabian and 70% whatever. Yeah. That's already 110%. That's gonna be me. Ugh. Long. I don't long. wanna. No, I don't wanna sit there and read it. It's All long. Right. All right. So um, this is our last meeting of the year Woo! for JK. Before we. Go have fun on vacation and take a whole month off pretty much. <coughs> and enclosed in these special envelopes. This is my Mother handwriting. Wait, you get your own? No, <laughs> what's well, just my check. Um, I'm also an employee. No, is there in there? Yeah, yeah there oh, is. I guess I'll get my own letter, but I'm also <laughs> an employee of JK Films. 
And um, <laughs> who wrote on Isaac? <laughs> 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 What you got with that? Listen. But in here are your uh, in here are your guys' last checks. We wanted to get uh, pay you guys out early because we're gonna do a company trip together. So we want to make sure everyone has enough Skrilla in their poquitos when we go play. But also we included a bonus in there because everyone has been working so hard in 2015 in the year of the hustle. So uh, and we also me and Joe wrote two notes in there, but Joe's is, uh, I read it, it's very uh, emotional. It's one of the <gasps> sensitive yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. What did you read it? You're gonna cry. Yeah, you have to lie now. I read your personality thing. You're not emotional. It's all logic. What? what? <laughs> Joe's all logic. Hey, <laughs> it's, it's, I'm it's, wired that way. I'm an ENTJ. That's what he wrote. Well, like how many were like one less than 1% of the world? Yeah, less oh. than 1% of the world. Yeah. You're special. Do you guys want Joe to read it? Yes. Yeah. You got to read it. All right, guys. David. Thank you. Julia. Thank you. Gio. Boom. Yay! Better now. If I'm gonna read it, That's you're gonna hold it while I read it. I guess everyone can read along or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah. God. You can do it like I, I want it. We, 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 you read the next paragraph. You read the next paragraph. <laughs> the words are good, but when it comes out of your mouth. That's it's even gooder. It's gooder. Wait, how come Joe doesn't goodest. have one? <laughs> no, it's gooder. Oh, because I, I we're JK, I bro. We I fuck it all up. For my money <laughs> over. I need to go to Chase. That's what I, I don't mean. write. I don't write checks to myself. <laughs> check for you, no, because I'm I'm still a Bofa, so oh, I need okay. a check. Oh, okay. So is Joe gonna read this or no? What? I think Joe should do. Joe, okay, Joe, 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 Joe,
That's as much emotion as you're gonna get from me for the rest of 215. <laughs> Thank you very much, and let's fucking kill 2016. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! That is awesome. You can read it again. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. That was Thank so you. good. Do you welcome? Ooh, no, I, watch I, I like you. <laughs> Can we have more emotional <laughs> So every time we speak, it's gonna be a fucking speech. I know. <laughs> this here, you crying me. in the bathroom later. You're <laughs> begging. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop it now. <laughs> Release the valve. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's now it's Bart's turn. Uh, all right. Tell us, let me see. And you gotta read it in the way that it was written. Yep. All right. Around here somewhere. You, go find you can just open your. I think you can just open your. Okay. All right. I'm gonna read exactly what I wrote. Okay. In the accent. Howdy, double dick dodo time. <laughs> and then in parentheses it says, "Please read in medieval accent." So that's what it says on your guys's paper. <laughs> All right. Finally, 2015 <laughs> is coming to an end. We swore as humble lords and promiscuous ladies to the heavens above us and the earth below us that we will make it this year, the year of the hustle and hustle we did make it. <laughs> we changed directions with JK Films and started making it content to better connect with our fans. We increased the JK News bowel movements and now shit out content more than ever. <laughs> Every Wednesday is devoted to us hating each other while we playeth games on JK Party. <laughs> We've learned more about each other sexually than we ever have before on Ask the Fields. And lastly, JK Gamer has been awakened from its dormant slumber. We have done so much, but this is only the beginning as we embark <laughs> on the journey of Barladom. As we mentioned before, Joe and I will be splitting up to take on separate, more specialized tasks. Joe will be the Bishop of Business, and I will be the Cardinal of Cinema. <laughs> we will need the efforts more than ever as we tackle 2016, the year of Kill It. 2016 will be the year we cement our legacy as our forefathers, Jackie Chan and Bobby Lee did. <laughs> included, including you, Josh, because you're Asian. <laughs> included in this parcel is a bonus check, a token of appreciation of all your hard work to feed your wives, husbands, and whores with. <laughs> Keep My <up>. calls. <laughs> <laughs> Keep up the good work, JK family, and may 2016 grant us a plentiful harvest, your humble squire, Sir Bartholomew Mixalat. Oh Yay! Yay. 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 Bishop of Business and Condor of what? Condor of BBCC. BBCC, yeah. Bishop of Business. Take it away, Michael the Whoremaker. <laughs> the the, the Whoretaker. <laughs> Michael the Whoretaker. The titty titillator. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, there's not, this is going to be the funnest meeting of the year. Yay! Yay! So, you know how in the last couple of meetings we talked a lot about the different uh, channel updates? Well, yes. do you guys have any channel updates that you want to share? I feel like we kind of already talked about all those already. What are you watching, Ma Bear? A vlog. I want to see. We haven't put it out yet. Oh, it's top secret? Fine. Sorry. What did you end up ordering? I haven't ordered yet. What are you going to get? Oh, I'm going to get the Umi Sushi. Umi Sushi? Umi. Oh. I don't know what Umi means, but ume. it's Ume. Ume. You pronounce it the way uh, you pronounce it in Spanish. Ume. Oh. Ume, yeah. My yeah. Uh, it's six pieces of nigiri. 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 My niggas. Sushi. Six pieces of tuna roll. Oh, okay. And a salmon hand roll. That's my shiz. Alright. What did you get? The homie Blee? The Matsu. The Matsu. And a clammy sushi. Oh, the clammy sushi is super bomb here. I always get it here. Yeah. Yeah, all these names don't mean too much to you guys. 
But Matsu means 10, Take is 8, Ume is 6. I usually oh, get. Oh, I just uh, asked, I didn't know what it was. What? I was just asking you. Oh, no, no, it's not the number. Oh. At least I don't think it is. Oh. It's not, right? That's not how you count. Oh. I, like, I, I only know how to count to Ichini, San, Chi, Roku. Oh, you know, go. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go. Go, Roku, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> what is that? Tiff likes really small stuff. <coughs> she starts tripping out. But she likes really. It's like the mama cup and the baby cup. Oh, that is very cute. Thank you. Damn, look at that fool. He's enjoying it like crazy. Oh, that's a nice sweater, too. Just got it for him today. Just today? Yeah. What kind of sweater is it? It's a Target sweater. <laughs> well, it looks nice. Yeah. You know, back, at, back in my day, Target stuff was nasty. Yeah, Target now. But now they got, they got brand names in there. They got Sean White designing yeah, stuff. Yeah, I bought him Sean White stuff. Yeah, they, they got a lot of quality stuff in Target. Yeah. Sean White, the snowboarder. The snowboarder. The snowboarder. What did you order? I'm gonna order the take. Okay. Yes. Yes. And you put and avocado. Wasabi, right? Her no wasabi. Okay. So salmon, cucumber, no wasabi. Salmon, Hi. Hi. You guys are like, like twins. Hmm? These are like twins. Yeah, but I don't have his body. <laughs> he's, he's catching up though. You're catching up to him and he's catching up to you. This will, he texted me because you know, somebody thought I was doing some comedy. I was like, you know, I'm getting buff or your macros are crazy, dude. <laughs> you are getting buff. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. What's is that? Yes. No, no, I, th I think that's yours. I ordered a green tea. Who ordered green tea? I'll drink it. I ordered one. Oh, then that's yours. Oh. I'll just drink it. Extra. So, as you can see, I fucked up my uni. I tried to carry it over. And then the whole top fell off. God so damn it. They make it so like nice too. And I toppled over the well, other one. We do one. watch a movie every night. It took us four shit. days to watch Batman. Fucking shit. For the 80s this, this Batman. Alright. Stay. Oh, it might Son be, of it a might be bitch. <laughs> Alright, let's try so this one. Alright. Thank you. Oh, does he get soup? All he, right. he ordered chirashi. Oh, that's chirashi. fucking my shit. Oh, oh dude. Right now. Yeah, yeah, I think oh, I'm fucking up my whole. Oh, I fucked up my goddamn mackerel, mackerel too. What the fuck? Babe, yeah. can you just bring my mackerel over? I'm like fucking everything up. I got you. Oh, you know, it's not you. It was stuck underneath the salmon hand roll. Fine. Excuse Your excuse. What else did you get? Oh, shit. Hi, you want You're throwing my shit all over the place. Whoa. I'm just kidding. Dang, you just asked me to help you and you got all mean. I'm you just kidding. Yeah. I'm gonna reach on you. Stop the tar. You just jump straight to I'm just jumping around. You used to wasabi on my hand roll. Oh, that's it. Wasabi on my hand roll, baby. Are you gonna tell him about how it took us four days to watch Batman? Oh, yeah, so like one thing that we like to do is um, when we're busy all day, Sometimes we can't have relationship time. And so what we've been trying to do is like have a little bit of relationship time in bed like right before we knock out. So we decided to... Uh, My it <laughs> No, we try to like watch a movie, but then we were tired. So it took us a whole week to watch um, the first Batman with Michael Keaton. It took us like probably like I, I, at least a good six to eight sessions. That's crazy. Because we'd watch five minutes and we're like, oh wow, this Joker's pretty good, and then we just knock out. And then the next. Do you guys have like time opinions just do couples that different input from. No, we try sometimes. I'm gonna try to do it, but. You did the Disneyland thing. Yeah, we'll do like a date like once every three months. Yeah. Once every three months, dog. 
Yeah. That's crazy. Because sometimes it's so busy, especially at the end of the year, around this time of the year, it's hard. But you guys have dinner and lunch together and stuff, right? But it's usually with everyone else, too. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to do that. I feel like these fools go on dates way more than we do. Hell yeah, you guys, you guys hang out on the weekends and do weekend stuff. No. Hell yeah, you do. Cause sometimes we'll ask, like, uh, like I'll ask uh, Gio to text you, like, hey, uh, see if Tiff wants to go eat with us, cause we'll like we're, we live next to each other. And then uh, you'll text back, oh yeah, you know, me and Case, we just finished wine tasting. Yeah. Like, oh, all right, it's when cool. When have then. we ever done wine tasting? No. I don't know, but you always do recently, stuff. Recently though, like recently, Casey made it a point though that he does want to spend more couple time together, cause he's like, I never see you the whole week, and then it's actually very similar to you guys, cause. Every night we put on a movie and it takes us like a whole week to finish one movie. Oh, cool. Because like we'll fall asleep, same thing. And yeah. so, uh, but yeah, like recently we've been trying to go out to like restaurants, that, especially that he's been dying to go to because I don't care about food. Yeah. So it'd be like, you know, he's dying to try this one restaurant now and like we'll go, we'll try to make time for it, but as a reoccurring, like often thing, we don't. Because you guys do like, you guys go to birthday parties. Like every week you're doing a birthday party. Oh, that was a long time ago. I haven't uh, gone to one in a long, like a year. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I always I feel like... I think his timeline just messed up. Yeah. What? I'm on to my, uh, my end table this morning. So, did you just say you knocked her mouth on an end table? <laughs> what happened? You put, you put him on blast. <laughs> 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 um, so at my at the end of my um, bed, I had this iPhone clip hooked up, right? Yeah. And I woke up. It was like kind of in my face. I was trying to like adjust it out. Yeah. And when I was like like twisting it, I fucking wasn't paying attention to the side of the table. And I slipped out and went pop. Oh <laughs> shit. Damn. So that's bleeding there. Yeah, I was bleeding on my gum all morning. But is this still bleeding? Um, right now. Damn, you have a good eye. I barely saw that. No, it was. Oh, was it? His whole tooth was red. Damn. Hi. I was like, yeah, this is what happened. He goes, hold up, you fucked yourself up, pal. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this one. <laughs> we'll get clean together, and I'll find me a soapbox where I can shout it. <laughs>